What's Gaelic football going to be like? Small but easy. Wu Tang, foul, boom. Oh, do you think you're ready to have a go at it? No, but I'm making a TV show, so let's go down there. <laughs> I'm Baba Tunde Aleshe and I'm visiting the island of Ireland for the very first time. So check this out. Wow, I can do that. But instead of searching the internet to find the best spots, I'm hitting the streets and trusting the locals instead. You want to get that coastline in? Cargary. 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 Whoa. Oh my day. I want to see the iconic sights. Wow. <laughs> the Five Finger Strand Beach. And the hidden gems. Oh yeah, the chocolate factory. Uh my destiny's in their hands. Do you like your sports? I love sports. Bow! Woo Tang! This yeah. is Where To Next. For this leg of my road trip along the wild Atlantic Way, I'm in Galway and neighbouring County Clare. This place is beautiful, but the producers also told me that Galway was voted the friendliest city in Ireland in 2020. So come on, smiley happy people of Galway. Where to next? Hello. Hello, ladies. You said hello in sync. This is my first time in uh, Galway. Where should I go? What should I go see? You can't leave the city without seeing Salt Hill. Okay, it's not a big hill of salt, is it? No, it's All right, then. Just check it. Well, it's just like a beach walk. And you can also, there's also a kicking wall there. You're supposed to kick it for a good luck. I have to kick you the wall. Kick the wall. Jump into the sea. Jump into the sea? <laughs> Even if it's raining and cold, everybody just jumps in. What have you done here so far? Uh, we just arrived. Just, oh, when? Just, like 10 minutes ago. Oh my <laughs> gosh! That's who I... I shouldn't be talking to you! <laughs> <laughs> or some of the other local places that I should go and visit. If you're going up the mountain, you know, the Burren Mountain, there's a chocolate factory there. Oh yeah, the chocolate factory oh, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mountain chocolate factory. I love chocolate. If you could eat your whole way along the coast, you could stop up for oysters as well. Ooh, okay, we'll get into that bougie stuff. All right, I like some oysters. Have you ever played hurling? What's hurling? Murder hockey, basically, for anyone who hasn't seen it. Murder <laughs> hockey. Did you just say? Yeah. You're on the grass and you have to do this thing where you like bounce the ball on a stick. It's not hockey, but okay. There's just a lot of belting. There's a lot of... Uh, Explain belting. Why? For fun. For fun. Yeah. You play hurling? I'm more of a runner and a karate guy. Karate? Okay, you want to show us a couple moves? Not at me, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, I'm trying <laughs> well, to stay alive. Uh, okay, cool. Haichiwaza, so you go like, Aichi -waza. Uh, across. Hook. That. Okay, I can tell you're still a beginner. Yeah. <laughs> so my Galway people have given me their best suggestions and as much as I wanted to drive straight to the chocolate factory, it's only 10 a.m. So we're starting our journey in the city with a little uh -uh, gentle exercise instead. I've just finished watching some Gaelic football highlights and some hurling and I've got some questions. Ah! What in the hell? Oh, and they showed that in slow motion. Why would they do that? Ooh! Oh, that looked like it hurt. Why are they wearing a helmet? That's number one. Uh, number two, if it's football, why are they running with the ball in their hands? Number three, why do they have sticks? What, what's the sticks about? <sighs> the people with the answers to my sensible questions are from the Gaelic Games experience. They offer, apparently, friendly taster sessions in the traditional sports played on the island of Ireland. But if they call it murder hockey once, I'm doing a runner. What's going on, guys? Steven, nice to meet you. you. Steven, right, how are you? How are you doing, brother? What's up, bro? Keen. Man like Keen, all right. Okay, why is there helmets? That's the number one thing I have just spotted right now. What's going on with the helmets? Oh, we're going to teach you two different sports. Right. First sport we're going to teach you is we're going to teach you our Gaelic, our ancient warrior game, hurling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A ancient warrior game. Remember, look, bro, I'm just a comedian, all right? And we get you suited up then. Yeah. So this is called a hurl or a hurley, not oh. a stick. You're going to put your left foot up beside the ball. Okay. Okay, so this is the bit where there's a montage of me learning how to play that ends in me looking great. There you go, yeah. So most of the three-year-olds can do that. <laughs> I said me looking great. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> how the hell do you hit this thing? Maybe if you stand in for me and we'll just edit my body over your face, yeah? What's Gaelic football going to be like? Small but easy. You sure? Yeah. You know the guy that was always last at being picked for football? My friends didn't even consider me. Now, whilst Gaelic football dispatches of the stick weapon thing and the helmet, there was more to it than just kicking a ball. Making a W shape with your finger. Fortunately, I had just the way to remember. Wu-Tang, wow! Boom! Oh. <laughs> And toes pointing back up towards okay. Hinge. 
Yes, there you go. Do you think you're ready to have a go at it? No, but I'm making a TV show, so let's go down there. <laughs> so despite my lack of skill and coordination, the guys encouraged me to join them in a simple team drill. <laughs> All right. They say Wu-Tang is for the children. Bang. Wu-Tang. But you know what? It's also for the Gaelic football man them too. Let's do this. And then I run with it, and then I... <laughs> this is practice, come on. This is practice, isn't it? <laughs> Fair play to these guys. They kept pushing. Perhaps they saw potential in me. Or maybe they were just contractually obliged. Okay. Bow! Wu Tang! Bow! Throw to you, the dummy. Uh oh! Pass! One, two, three, four, bounce, one, two, three, four, hinge, one, two. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Yes! Finally! The best thing after every match, you get Guinness. So yeah? We'll have a few Guinness after you've worked up, you've worked the appetite for it tonight now. I'm definitely gonna. <laughs> is it what, in the bar over there? In the bar over there, yeah. That's it, yeah. My Gaelic game experience was great fun, and I can honestly say I left everything out on the pitch, including my dignity. For now, it was time to head to my next destination, Salt Hill Promenade. The locals this morning had mentioned there was a wall at the end that you kicked for good luck. Thankfully, I came dressed for the occasion. People come here and they go over to the kicking wall and they wear their normal shoes. Not me, I got on constructions. Yeah, man, still toes. I'm gonna keep the life out of this wall. Get all the luck. <laughs> all right. Ah, you see, when you kick the wall, make it a powerful one. Okay, all right. <laughs> does this thing work? Look, it works, it works. Molly kicks it as well on a- on Oh, does she? On a Friday evening only. Oh, okay, 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 not today. All right. You might wanna stand back a little bit, you know what I'm saying? All right. Ah, ah, okay. Mm. Yeah, now I have to test my luck. All right, see if I can throw three heads. Let's see. Heads. Heads again. Brother, look. Heads. For the record, that did actually happen. <laughs> I got luck. This is good luck. Do you want to test your luck on that diving platform? Uh, I, don't, I don't know about that, bro. That's called pushing your luck, man. How long do you want this episode to be? That's not even in my contract. Despite defying the one in eight chances of throwing three heads in a row, no amount of good luck was going to get me up that platform. So we headed out of town to our next suggestion. My Galway people had all said I should sample the local oysters as well as visit the nearby chocolate factory. The question was, which should I do first? Of course, it was the chocolate factory, wasn't it? Seven-year-old Baba would be absolutely excited, but I know my mum will be telling me I have your dinner before dessert. Well, guess what, mum? You ain't here. You are watching me at home. <laughs> so despite what my mum would say, I headed to eat some chocolate first at the Hazel Mountain Chocolate Factory. They offer guided tours and workshops. Kasha. Kasha. Yeah. How are you doing? So I was hoping for an immersive experience. And by immersive experience, I mean eat some chocolate. And by some, I mean a lot. Firstly, we started in the roasting room with the beans. So uh, a lot of people do eat these, uh, but it does taste a little bit bitter. I'll, I'll be the judge of that, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> thank course. you. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh. Oh, that's better. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. On, 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 on. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we are part of only 2% of chocolate factories in the world that actually make our own chocolate from the cocoa bean all the way to the bar. Press the stop button here, yeah? yeah. No, no. Oh, oh. oh don't do that to me. <laughs> we are also the only chocolate factory in the world that makes our chocolate with Irish dairy. Oh, yeah, I saw some of the cows on the way in. They look pretty relaxed. They look chill. So far, very interesting, but I hadn't actually eaten any chocolate yet. The next room I visited was where they melt the chocolate down and it goes through a process called tempering. Please let that mean eating. 
You look cool. I look the part, right? Definitely. Oh my gosh. I'm very interested in, you know, tasting some of that thing you've got that now. Oh, well, so. have a little sneaky trick for Ooh. that one. <gasps> I'm afraid if you double dip the spoon, it is, uh, is it? Yeah, so no, no, obviously once you do it, yeah, 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 yeah you can't do that. So we're oh. going to oh. run oh. under here. That's enough, that's enough right there, double. Oh, my gosh. And finally. Mm. I'm not allowed to double dip. I can get another spoon, though. You ah, spoon. you see? <laughs> Trick you there. That is so nice, by the way. Oh, my God. Can we make one, but with my face? Uh, like I this. <laughs> I'm thinking this will sell. I think it will. I think it's excellent. Yeah. Come on, man. Side hustle established. I was invited to have a go at creating the actual bars. Oh. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> the final part of the tour saw me visit the truffle room. Thankfully, it did exactly what it said on the tin. I think you deserve a truffle. Yes. It's a hard job. Yes, thank you. It's all right. I think that might be the dictionary definition of the word speechless. That's amazing. That's really good. I know. Thank you. <laughs> Mia, bring it in. Hold on, man. And that is the Bubba seal wow. of approval right there. Wow, that's nice. That was divine. That was amazing. That was everything I've ever dreamed of. Now that is what a chocolate factory experience is supposed to be like. You know, I came away with my own chocolate. I'm pretty chuffed with that. Ta-da. It actually does look good. It's actually fine. Yeah. Will I be sharing that with my family? Hell no, I won't be sharing that with my family. They have not worked as hard as I have, yeah? I'll get them a pack of M&Ms or something. Do you hear that? You hear that? Those are happy cows. That's how you know my chocolate's good. The Chocolate Factory Tour was a fantastic experience if you like chocolate. And if you don't like chocolate, who even are you? But having had my dessert, it was time for my main course, the local oysters. And I couldn't think of anything better for my final stop of the day. Hey, what's going on, man? How are you? I'm good. What's your name? Connor. Nice Connor, yes, bro. As you can tell, I was pretty excited. These oysters are fresh from the surrounding bays. So after a quick run through the oyster equivalent of a car wash, Connor whisked me away to the beach for a good shucking. Oh, mate. So, what, what, what's all this, bruv? I've, I've got a wife, bruv. What are you doing, bruv? <laughs> so there are a few methods yep. to open an oyster. Okay. So you put the tip of the knife into the hinge of the oyster and you push towards the table mm -hmm. until you hear a pop, until you cut a thing called the adductor muscle. Is oh, wow, I did it. And then what you need to do is just release it from the bottom of the shell. Oh, sorry, I'm losing no, all the juice. That's great, yeah. I say you should always chew it because okay. with a good, good, uh, good oyster, you'll get a... Um, a nice texture. Okay, okay. So a couple of chews and then down the hatch. There's lemon there if you'd like, or else you can uh, you can go natural. I'll go natural. Yeah, 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 perfect. Yeah. Cool. Well, cheers, my Thumbs guy. Up. Enjoy. Cheers. Mm. Man, that's good. Yeah. So with those oysters, you will get oh, quite yeah. a lot of um, of the uh, the briny flavour. Yeah. There's no fresh water flowing into this okay. this area, so that's all oceanic water. Right. You get into the, the minerality there from um, from that and then the oyster itself. Is that. Um, Listen, Connor, I'm enjoying the chat, but can we open another one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's course. do that. Let's do that. Well, thank you very much. Well, mm -mm -mm. Listen, man. I don't mean to be rude, but how much would this go for in like a high-end restaurant? It's expensive, right? They're pretty expensive, yeah, yeah. And I'm having these for free. Yeah, exactly. Connor, well, I've got, cheers. I've got a bill coming. Oh, you got a bill yeah, coming? Yeah, they're just tightening it up inside. Bro, I'm not going nowhere, man. There's a whole bunch of oysters that we All need right, to get eat. Mm. <laughs> cheers to you, Connor, man. Thanks I'm falling coming. in love with oysters right now. Good man, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Well, I did enjoy myself. But as interesting as watching me eat a dozen oysters might be, this feels like a great place to do the episode wrap up. And my Galway people, you delivered. Okay, I can tell you still a beginner. I experienced the traditional sports of hurling and Gaelic football. So there's no glory hunting. And I think I taught the lads something about 90s hip hop too. Wu-Tang. And despite being rubbish, I absolutely loved it. 
I've realised seven-year-old Bubba's dreams by visiting a chocolate factory. Oh, oh, oh don't do that to me! <laughs> I've got to make some and eat it. Wow. And finally, I signed off here on the coast eating fresh oysters in the most stunning location. Thank you, Island of Island. I've had the most amazing time.